Welcome everyone to today's Empyrean Workshop Showcase. Join me as we take a creator request to look at the RSWA2 Der Isel. So today's design is yes, a creator request to look at the RSWA2 Der Isel. This is an unlock level 20 size class 8 capital vessel design coming to us from creator Rick Z 9019 now, according to Google Translate, Der Isel is German for the donkey. And to me, that implies this is basically a packed mule for carrying a lot of stuff. So starting at the back, we have a large hangar bay door here with a nice size ramp that extends down as you approach and gives us access into the entire interior hangar bay section. One element I really like about this is that you have everything right in one single corridor of the ship where it makes it easy access for you to get around and get what you need. It also gives you a very large hangar bay area for even the largest hover vessels. So as we go through the ship, you will see that both sides are basically mirror images down the middle. Each side will have something set up a certain way with the other side being the exact same in a mirror fashion. So starting at the front of the ship, in the hangar bay area, we have two advanced constructors, one on each side, and each one is accompanied along the wall by 10 cargo boxes. Next to that, near the elevator on each side, you will find an armor locker and an O2 station, followed by eight more cargo boxes and then four harvest cargo boxes. Now at the back of the ship, above the cargo boxes, you will see a set of ammo boxes and these are accessible by taking the elevator up one level on each side. You will also see on each side above the ammo boxes some fuel tanks and oxygen tanks as well as a gravity generator. Continuing up the elevator to the top walkway section, you see we come along to this very big walkway where we have over here our repair console as well as eight more cargo boxes in case you need some extra storage up here. And then up here towards the rear of the ship, we actually have a small little lounge relaxation area where you can come hang out with your friends, watch some TV, and relax while you don't have work to do. Continuing up the elevator, we come into the other main section of the ship. This is the living area of the ship where you will find most of your functionality. And instead of having stairs in a particular place, the walls are slanted ramps, meaning you can walk up and down anywhere along this stretch. Now, once again, everything is a mirror image based around the middle section of the ship. So what you see on this side is identical on the other. But along here, we do have a new lounge section where we can have people hang out, relax when parked. And of course, we have passenger seats for when we are traveling. Right here, you will find a food processor and three fridges. And if you look right here, there's actually part of a repair station you can access there if need be. Coming to this other side, you see we have the same setup, of course, in reverse, as I said, with the one food processor and three fridges and more of the same lounge setup. Taking the ramp in the middle of this section, we come up to the top of the ship where we have our parking area for the small vessels. Now heading down towards the lower section here, we have our armor locker, as you saw on the other side. And here we have, of course, our crew quarters where we have bunk beds, closets, and of course, TV and everything for entertainment. We have showers and the same thing on this side. As I said, it's a mirror image. Then coming over here, you will find your toilet. And this is where you can actually access that repair station that was upstairs, as well as look into the grow plot room. And now that brings me to the grow plot area, which is a very large room. And you see, we have plenty of space here for putting in grow plots. However, they do not come in the ship by default. This is a nine by five area, giving you a total space for 45 grow plots. Over here, you will find a single lever and this lever is used for turning on and off the grow lights inside, which means if you have no grow plots, you don't have to turn these on. So it saves you some power. Now taking the ramp above the grow plot area, we come into the medic area where we have seating for recovering stamina, we have some tanks and cryo chambers for storage. We have our four medical scanners, as well as our clone chamber and medic station. 
And now finally heading towards the front of the ship, we pass another enclosed area. This is where you'll find generators and your warp drive. And then coming up the ramp on each side, we come into our bridge section where we have passenger seats and of course our stylish captain seat, as well as a door giving you access to this area where you could come in and work on your warp drive or your engines if needed. Again, this is the RSW A2 Der Isel, and it is an unlock level 20 size class 8 capital vessel. It comes stocked with 46 fuel tanks giving you a total capacity of 115,200 fuel and with the thrusters turned off and docked sitting still I have almost 36 hours of use. It also comes with 20 oxygen tanks giving you a total of 36,000O2 and requires 6,619 to fill it up. Because of the more open design on the interior section, it only requires five ventilators to keep it going. And of course, there are two oxygen stations, one medic station, and one clone chamber. For attack and defense, this comes with a total of six minigun turrets, eight sentry guns, four cannon turrets, and there are two drill turrets at the front of the ship. It carries a total of 58 cargo boxes and eight ammo boxes, along with six fridges, two food processors, and two advanced constructors. Now, when it comes to resource costs, considering the unlock level and the size, it's really not that bad in terms of iron and sathium. You should be readily able to get that amount from disabling a large POI. However, the 14,000 plus neodymium is going to make things a little bit more difficult, as well as the 6,971 cobalt and the 402 arrestrum and zascosium. Of course, 402 Arrestrum and Zascosium is actually fairly cheap for a ship like this. I'm actually really surprised by the ship. It didn't look like it would be that much from the outside, but the inside actually works really well. I definitely appreciate the more open theme of the interior design because it does make things easier to follow along and you do not get lost or turned around too easily. Also, having a very large hangar bay area for your hover vessels is awesome, especially if you like to build really big hover vessels later in the game. Now, I do not play in multiplayer or PvP, but I can tell you right now, this is definitely not one for that. So once again, this is the RSW A2 Der Esel, and Der Esel is German for the donkey. This comes to us from creator Rick Z9010, and if you want to try out the design in your own game, I will have a link in the description below. Be sure if you try it out and you like it to leave a thumbs up and a nice comment for Rick Z on the workshop page. Well, that is it for today's workshop showcase. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment below and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to keep it spicy this week and I will see you in the next video.